Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Nikki and Jack's wild night leads to major consequences. The exes turn besties give in to their worst impulses and have to pay the price. It's not often that the young and the restless will dedicate an entire episode to just two characters, so when that does occur, you can expect something big to happen, something that sends shockwaves through Genoa City. Well, in the young and the restless episode airing on May 2, the entire episode stars only Nikki, Melody Thomas Scott, and Jack, Peter Bergman, and the two get into a heap of trouble. The episode starts out with Jack barging into Nikki's room at the athletic club. She's incredibly drunk and is in no mood to be rescued by her sponsor. However, he's insistent that Nikki is stronger than her addiction. Unfortunately, the Newman matriarch doesn't believe a word he says and is content with wallowing in self-pity and guilt. She blames herself for Jordan's Colleen Zenk, reign of terror and the pain the crazed villain unleashed on Harrison, Redding Munsell, Claire, Haley Aaron, and her entire family. No matter how many times Jack tries to convince Nikki that she's not to blame for Jordan's actions, Nikki stands firm in her belief that she could have stopped Jordan a while ago if she had just let her die when she ingested the vial of poison. Nikki even notes that Summer, Allison Lanier, looked disappointed in her grandmother's choice to let Jordan live. In the moments Nikki isn't bashing herself, she's bashing Jack. She expresses her frustration with him trying to get her to stop drinking and sober up. When he mentions the idea of her going to rehab, she really lets loose, even noting how the great Jack Abbott failed as her sponsor, essentially leaving a blemish on his seemingly perfect life. Although Nikki's harsh words were no doubt a ploy to frustrate Jack enough to get him to leave so she could resume drinking, which she does anyway with him present, she inadvertently opens Pandora's box for Jack. He rattles off all the stressful situations going on in his life, pointing to Ashley's Eileen Davidson, mental health crisis, Harrison being kidnapped, Diane's Susan Walters, and Kyle's Michael Mueller, infighting at Jabat and of course, Nikki's failed attempts at sobriety. He says it's all too much and how he essentially envies Nikki's ability to escape her problems with her vice alcohol. Jack then starts downing vodka himself, which we thought was quite the interesting tactic for a sponsor. But then things take an even more destructive turn when Jack makes a mysterious phone call. While we were hoping the call would be to Victor, Eric Braden, he instead calls his former pill dealer. Nikki is left completely stunned. As she begs Jack not to throw his years of sobriety away, she also hopes he's bluffing to prove a point. Sadly, the drugs are delivered and despite Nikki's many pleas that he stop this madness, he takes a few pills and washes them down with more alcohol, a terrible combination by any standards. By the end of the episode, Jack passes out unconscious, and a very concerned Nikki desperately tries to wake him up. Now we'll admit, part of us is holding out hope that the pills Jack took are fake and he's doing a bit of acting to sway Nikki into going to rehab. It would be a drastic and manipulative ploy, but at this stage in Nikki's life, she needs more help than AA meetings and even Victor can provide. However, if Jack did indeed relapse, we expect Diane's head to explode and for her to fully rage at Nikki. Diane was never a fan of her husband sponsoring Nikki and even expressed concerns that Nikki's struggles could sway Jack to give up on his own sobriety. So if Diane is proven right, we imagine she won't hold back in blasting her nemesis. In that same vein, if the rest of the Abbots find out what happened, they too may attack Nikki. Considering she already feels pretty bad about herself these days, the pylon could prove to be too much. Then there's Victor. While Diane may be content to yell at Nikki, you better believe Victor will have choice words for his lifelong rival Jack. The mustache never wanted Jack to be Nikki's sponsor and has already questioned Jack's ability to be an effective one. If Victor finds out that Jack sat by and let his wife get hammered and even joined in on the fun, we expect to see plenty of fireworks, especially given Jack didn't call Victor. The Newman patriarch will also probably save a few choice words for Nikki too. Additionally, although Nikki and Victor literally just celebrated an anniversary with an elaborate party, we have to consider that Jack and Nikki's wild night together and subsequent recovery could be laying the groundwork for a possible hashtag knack reunion. We prefer Victor and Nikki stay together as a couple, but it is the soap world. 
In the quaint town of Genoa City, where drama and intrigue dance hand in hand, whispers of a scandalous night between two of the town's most prominent figures, Nicky Newman and Jack Abbott, set tongues wagging and hearts racing. The young and the restless, known for its tantalizing twists and turns, spins a web of anticipation as rumors swirl about the consequences of their wild escapade. Nikki Newman, the epitome of elegance and poise, often finds herself entangled in the complexities of love and loyalty. As the matriarch of the Newman family, her every move is scrutinized. Every decision weighed against the backdrop of her tumultuous past. Jack Abbott, the debonair businessman with a heart of gold, shares a history of passion and pain with Nikki, their paths intertwining in ways both profound and unpredictable. It all begins on a fateful evening, the air thick with tension and desire, as Mickey and Jack find themselves drawn together by a force they cannot resist. Perhaps it's the allure of forbidden fruit or the intoxicating thrill of danger that propels them into each other's arms. Whatever the reason, their chemistry is undeniable, sparking a flame that ignites a night of reckless abandon. In a dimly lit corner of the Geno City Athletic Club, Nikki and Jack share a dance, their bodies moving in perfect harmony to the rhythm of their hearts. The music swells around them, drowning out the whispers of onlookers and casting them into a world of their own making. For a fleeting moment, they are lost in each other, their troubles forgotten, their inhibitions cast aside. But as the night wears on and the drinks flow freely, their inhibitions give way to temptation, leading them down a path fraught with danger. What starts as a harmless flirtation soon escalates into a whirlwind of passion, leaving them both breathless and wanting more. In the heat of the moment, they make a decision that will change the course of their lives forever. As dawn breaks over Geno City, Nikki and Jack awaken to the harsh reality of their actions. Regret hangs heavy in the air as they come to terms with the consequences of their impulsive behavior. Their indiscretion threatens to unravel the delicate balance of power in their tight-knit community, leaving them scrambling to contain the fallout before it's too late. For Nikki, the stakes are higher than ever as she grapples with the guilt of betraying her husband, Victor Newman, the formidable patriarch of the Newman Empire. Jack, too, faces his own demons as he navigates the treacherous waters of his complicated relationship with Nikki and his ongoing feud with his arch-nemesis, Victor. As news of their tryst spreads like wildfire through the gossip-hungry streets of Geno City, alliances are tested, loyalties are questioned, and old wounds are reopened. Friends become foes and enemies become unlikely allies as the fallout threatens to tear the fabric of their community apart. But amidst the chaos and uncertainty, a glimmer of hope remains as Nikki and Jack confront their pasts and forge a path forward together. With their newfound strength and resilience, they vow to weather the storm and emerge stronger than ever before. In the world of the young and the restless, where love and betrayal go hand in hand, Nikki and Jack's wild night may have led to major consequences, but it also serves as a reminder that even in the darkest of times, redemption is always within reach.